for eight years now. Thank you, Jiggy. All right, you know, it's everyone's favorite time of the marathon. Uh, the next run is ready now. These may not be the droids that you're looking for, but this is absolutely the run you've been looking forward to. Let's take it away. It's Utsu with Republic Commando. The stage is yours. Utsu with Republic Commando, the stage is yours. All right, uh, everyone. Hello. My name is Utsu, and I'm going to be running Star Wars Republic Commando. So uh, this run kind of gets started real fast. I'm going to do an oob basically right from the start and out of bounds. So uh, as I do that, I'm just going to go and let my couch introduce themselves. Time starts, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, I am Brian Otto. Thank you so much for having me here, Utsu. Uh, I have not, I'm not familiar with this run specifically, but I played this game casually a ton as a kid. So very happy to be here on the couch with you. So yeah. Uh, I'm Amerlin. I'm currently producing GQ, but also <laughs> Utsu's a great friend of mine, and I'm here to help. I'm Cram, and I'm, I'm the former world record holder for this run, and uh, that was until Utsu took it from me, and I'm here to kind of provide some commentary on the tricks that are happening, things like that. There we go. So yeah, so I just basically just hopped up on there, and I can climb up on here, and it'll let me walk all the way to the end of the level. No, no fuss, nothing like that. Um, so basically, uh, Star Wars Remote Commando is a Star Wars FPS where you play as a clone commando who is controlling, who is commanding three other clone commandos. Um, the gameplay is basically telling them what to do, make them go places, shoot at certain enemies and stuff. Uh, but the main tech of this game is uh, has to do with going quick saving and quick loading during uh, load screens like that, if Cram would like to explain those. Yeah, for sure. So the in this game, there's a little bit of an exploit to do with uh, the loading screens and levels, or any loading screens in general. You can actually do a bunch of actions during them, one of which is uh, quick save, quick loading. You can also do movement, you know, do commands for your squad, do things like that. Um, Quick, loading, quick save and quick loading has a, a, an interesting effect where it kind of cancels some of the setup stuff that happens at the beginning of the level. Um, specifically in this level right here, that uh, thing that we're telling Six Dude to do, normally the, um, uh, that, that green commando that's right there would be the only one that can do that, but he's doing some animations. So it uh, saves a few seconds by allowing Six Dude to do that sooner. Yeah, so, um, so that is 6-2 and 4-0. Oh. They are two of the clone commandos that are going to be joining us for the rest of this game. 6-2 uh, is the explosives expert, and 4-0 oh is the hacking expert. Um, these first few levels are the kind of introducing you to your fellow commandos, um, but we just kind of gloss over them and move on, so uh, you won't really be getting to learn much about them, aside from what, uh, what you can hear throughout the run. Uh, here I'm going to be doing a trick where uh, if you kind of rub your collision against two two other collisions, you just kind of... I can get there. You just kind of bump upwards. Alright, I'm going to give that one more try. <laughs> is that dude standing there? Is he blocking you? Or like, oh, there we go. No. Nice. Uh, first first no. try. Easy. Every time. Yeah, first try. So, uh, so that skips a thing where I have to place a a detonator over there and then walk through here. Um, so it saves about oh, like 10, 15 seconds. Um, then there, it wants me to place a bomb there, but uh, I can just go ahead and hop up here and just ignore that. Uh, and hopefully these Geonosians here don't, yeah, like they do that instead of jumping in front of me. Sometimes they just dive into the pit. <laughs> They're like, oh, it's the speedrunner again, I give up. <laughs> I'm gonna slip up there. I'm gonna do another quick save, quick load here and I'm going to start uh, spamming the walk button, which keeps me from going down this, uh, these zip lines here. Uh, here we're gonna be meeting Delta 07. He is the weapons expert of Delta Squad, except uh, we're not actually gonna meet him. I'm gonna stand up here and we're gonna just walk, jump through that wall. Whoa! <laughs> so, uh, so the whole reason we quick save and quick load. <laughs> yeah. So quick saving and quick loading there makes it so that we, one, don't have to break that glass, don't have to go in there for a whole cutscene, and the end level trigger just kind of spawns. Um, I just quick saved and quick loaded during that, uh, that load screen. So if I load, I can walk around during this cutscene here. 
and there is uh there's one more thing um up ahead that i'll get to but uh yeah to kind of catch you up on the story here uh we are delta squad 407 62 um wait what's up with right now whose armor the the red dude don't he's okay he likes chicken nuggets and he got covered in ketchup okay he's a messy eater leave him alone <laughs> sure <laughs> He was very hungry before we came here, and he didn't have time to do his laundry. Yeah, don't okay, hate on Seth. Seth is the cool one. Seth Listen, I haven't played this game. You could be lying to me, and, and I... You know what? I believe you. Seth is legitimately a cool character, okay? Very accurate. A little edgy, but he's the cool kind of edgy. Yes, so exactly. So, I just picked up the DC-17 sniper attachment, which uh, is the... Uh, it's the highest... It's the second highest damage gun that you will, no matter what, always have, as long as you have ammo for it. Um, yeah, this, this thing is goaded. Yeah, uh, it does 1.7 times damage whenever you're scoped in. Um, so if you're ever seeing me ADSing at something that's like right in front of me, it's most likely because it has a lot of health and I just want it dead. Most enemies in the game, you just want a shot with the, the sniper. Yeah. So I didn't really explain the commands I can do. So we've got form up, which is basically the command for um, telling a... Uh, Telling your squad to kind of fall close behind, don't don't really walk off anywhere. Uh, then there's search and destroy, which is just kind of their do whatever you want command. Uh, going back to that quick save, quick load at the beginning, uh, there's a shield around this generator here. So usually I have to drop it to command my commandos to start planting a bomb. But uh, I can give the command early. This doesn't let them start planting it early, but it'll make them basically be standing right where they need to be once uh once the shield gets dropped so i'm walking up here i somehow missed that melee um and i'm gonna go and hold e on this uh this is gonna be a big theme throughout the whole run just holding <laughs> e on buttons and hacking them down e is, is there any Wait. sort of like rng or variance with your ally positioning or is this all pretty consistent uh it's pretty consistent uh m the only thing that's what they do isn't especially rng what's rng is these geonosians here Enemies, even though I'm on easy, will just, that's a flashbang, will sometimes <laughs> just be the greatest champions of the world. They'll just murk them. Yeah, they'll just show up and be, like, hard difficulty sometimes. Why are you meleeing them and not oh. shooting them? Uh, melee is probably the highest damage thing you have Melee's in your arsenal really that good. isn't a gun. Yeah. Okay. Especially on easy. Um... Let's get down to the so, similarly to the sniper, melee can one-shot pretty much every enemy in the game. Oh, jeez. Yeah. And we will be, be abusing it, some stuff to do with melee much, much more later in the run. You can melee, like, really fast, too, right? The, the cooldown is really short? Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, you can do this. It, uh, it kind of skips if you do a lot in a row, so... Gotcha. And they do kind of buffer a little bit. Uh, I'm going to be placing all of my commandos on... Uh, whoops on a sniper position per, and that's to keep these Geonosians elite, elites off of me, because they have these beam weapons that would do a lot of damage to me. I'm gonna shoot that, and I mentioned that quick saving and quick loading is, okay, they are not killing this guy. <laughs> Give it a little bit. Okay, but, um, so I mentioned quick saving and quick loading is like the uh, tech of this game. Um, I'm gonna throw some nades to make this thing fall. And, um, pretty good. If a prop is falling, you quick save and quick load, Bruh. it just kind of floats. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa! I love that that works. That's so dumb. <laughs> so, like, wait, so, like, guy, I'm gonna <laughs> take this. Was this, wait, was this game on anything besides PC? It was on Xbox. Xbox. I used to play. Did you on quick Xbox. save on Xbox? Like, did that no, work? You did, it did, no, there's no quick save on Xbox. Oh they added man. They quick saving and quick loading to the uh, to the new uh, re-releases though on um, Switch and PS4. Uh, oh yeah, it did come out on Switch. Yeah, that's right. Oh, how cool. So, cause I did that, uh, it offset the hitbox of this bridge here. So I can't actually go the intended way. There's just a hole in the floor. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> So you gotta go around, and luckily there's a collision you can jump on there. Wow, that's pretty lucky. I love that you took the death there just to just to prove your point. That was great. <laughs> it's it's. I truly did because 
A true show woman you are. Very well done. Thirty eight just has a really funny death sound too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like how sudden it was. <laughs> Wait, so I'm gonna go and place this bomb here, and uh, this this level here probably has the the like most lackluster skip that saves the most time out of any level. Um, this this whole level is nothing but like 10 second, 10 to 20 second bomb placements, hacking sequences, um, and just looping tunnels like the one I'm going in. But uh, luckily I can just climb through a window and just get to the end of the level. Uh, the freaking tapping on this gun just reminds me of like that one Paper Mario glitch where it's just like that ticking constantly. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, uh, the... So, oh, go ahead. So to, um, okay, here's the thing. I'm just going to hop up here, click my mouse left, and just slip through there. Oh, nice. Well, not very nice. It's, uh, wait, is it literally that easy? It's that easy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this is the last bomb placement of the level. Once I blow this up, it's going to trigger the all the end sequences. Uh, don't mind that my squad is dying. They'll be back in the next level. Um, <laughs> yeah, something I didn't mention before is... Uh, Another big piece of tech is uh, if you have a full mag on your gun, or if the, basically if the gun can't do a reload animation, you can skip any other animations with the gun by pressing reload. So you can skip the charge up animation of the beam weapon by pressing reload. I'm gonna do the cancel zip line to jump directly out of here and tell them to wait there. That lets me get a little bit further. Um, I choose not to be on this zip line. <laughs> um, and now uh, there's two bomb sequences here that I have to do, but uh, you know, you always have games where you're like, I could totally jump over that. Why do I have to? Why do I have to like go get a key for this door? So I just kind of climb over. Nice. There's a lot of collision that uh just kind of you can climb on. Uh, the one I'm coming up to here is a bit harder, so some people just kind of place this bomb instead of, uh, actually, uh... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm terrible at this one, and I'm always I'm impressed when Utsu gets it first try, because it's very hard to do. Usually in a normal run, I wouldn't kill that guy, but, um, sometimes he can just kind of be floating here and we'll mess this up. And I nice. got first oh, very no, nice. nice. <laughs> that, that's one of those jumps where you could just kind of tell that it looks that it's probably really finicky. Just, just like looking at how the geometry is laid out there and everything. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna do probably the the last one of the uh, of Geonosis here coming up. This is actually probably even harder than that because uh, the game has a mechanic where whenever there's like a big shake. Uh, Rather than like just giving a visual shake, it actually shakes your cursor around. So uh, you have oh, to do this. Right there? Yeah. yeah, it just happens so to be the timing of the level. That. It's the timing it's of the level happens like right when you get to that that it uh, shakes your screen. I see. So this this uh, thing here is gonna have a lot of explanation. So I'm gonna go and let Cram explain that while I do it. Yeah. So you'll notice that Utsu just double like the quick save, quick load, which we call double loading the level. And when you do that, it skips a couple of things in this level. The or it, 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 what it does is it, it, there's a uh, bomb placement that becomes enabled from the start of the level. But the unfortunate thing is that the double loading the level also happens to stop a thing that happens when you double load or when you plant the bomb where it blows up a door. Um, so we can't get through that, but uh, we have this trick where you can actually throw all these grenades up here. Uh, they'll, we're gonna walk forward and there's gonna be some droids that will spawn. And because it's a door that's getting blown up, you can actually like knock it over with like the broken droid, Whoa. battle droid pieces from the grenades and just like wow. knock the door down. How did how did y'all figure that one out? Like, yeah, that seems, whoa, that seems what? Kinda, yeah, that seems like yeah. Was that just by chance or? Uh, a lot of it was because of Ice Slide and he does magic. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh yeah, Ice Slide is like the uh, the glitch hunter for this game. I feel like every community has to have like that one person where you talk about them. Like yeah, they they do all the glitches. Yeah. And uh, all right, we can walk Perfect. past that door. It's a little bit Sometimes RNG. -y. I would imagine with physics like that, yeah. Uh, and, and, yeah, and because you will land in a way, go, go ahead, you go ahead. I was just gonna say because of, because of the fact you can't really see the door from below that well. Um, sometimes it kind of looks like from below that it's knocked over, 
but when you come up here, you can't actually get past it, um, which is a pretty pretty big run killer because you'll continue on the rest of the level assuming that it's good, and then you get there, and it's just you can't progress past that point. Is it like a visual thing, or is it just? <laughs> Yeah, it's just you don't have line of sight to the bottom of the door, so... Okay. Yeah, the most impar important part of it is the bottom, because uh, you need to be able to walk through that door. Some of the door is kind of stuck leaning down, but it's still, like, you can't quite get through it. I, I, know, I know the game is on easy, but I'm also noticing that your health is really low. Like, I mean, I, I remember playing this casually. It's like a very difficult game. I mean, it's, it's risk of death, like kind of a real possibility in this in this run even if it's on easy uh yeah kind of because as i said before sometimes enemies even though like it's on easy will just have the skills of a god yeah like sometimes the droids will just be able to laser you down sometimes these super battle droids will do nothing but launch rockets at you oh yeah if y'all haven't played this game by the way the super battle droids it's not like in battlefront or something like that they are super strong like they're essentially mini boss enemies in this game more or less like when you encounter one casually you, you gotta really coordinate to take him down they, they have they have a lot of hp yeah luckily for me uh i can just climb on this and now i'm invincible so it doesn't really matter hang on oh, okay all right cool <laughs> so when they were making this game uh they had they were running into an issue where uh uh what is it oh shoot where playtesters would be like on that turret and dying to things that they couldn't see and turns out it was just because there's not a really good damage indicator so they decided to make the solution be make you invincible to everything but explosions <laughs> okay <laughs> that's pretty cool actually uh, how did you find that out you got on it and you got off and you were invincible no i mean like how did you find out that that was the reason oh uh, i uh, i did a run once with a uh, with a dev once and they told me that's really cool uh, also, you just noticed that was a that was like a boss. That was a spider droid. Uh, oh, usually, they're actually like a big boss, but if you have the Gene Ocean beam weapon and you just get behind them, you can just focus them down with the laser. Uh, you'll notice my whole squad is dead. Uh, again, that, that doesn't matter. They'll be back later. Um, and also, that gives a bit of a, a very small uh, uh, dialogue skip. So. It's actually uh, faster if they're dead. <laughs> yeah, 07 is dead, so he can't really say anything. It's great. Uh, he tells us to he tells us to stand back from the entryway, but uh, I'm not. I'm just gonna stand up against it. I'm probably gonna take a, a bit of damage because I'm not immune to explosions, but uh, as long as I don't take too much, then I'm good. Oh, hey, cool. I'm still full health. <laughs> nice. Easy. And we're still invincible, so don't work to worry about these guys. Cool. Wow. So I'm just gonna hack this. Um, how much how much harder would this be if you like weren't in like would it would it be any longer or would you like try to keep your squad alive more? I'd need to keep I'd need to kill that super battle droid and that's about it. Mm. Yeah, we oh, actually it's... it wasn't that long ago that we found out about the invincibility somehow it went that long without us figuring it out um and before yeah we would just either kill him or you can you can just go past him and hopefully don't die uh, also going back to that uh usually you have to hack something for about 10 seconds there and extends the bridge but it's way easier just to climb on the console and hop around the invisible wall for the for the base of the bridge and just walk across I, that, go... that genuinely looked intended so i didn't think you did anything weird there Oh, yeah, no, that is not intended. You are not supposed to be able to climb on that. Uh, right now, we're going on what I call the Super Metroid elevator because it always makes me think of the the part in the beginning of the game where uh, Samus goes, like, into her ship or comes out of her ship and she's facing towards the screen. And I always imagine 38 are just standing exactly like that. It kind of does look like that. Yeah, I see that. Can't really see your body, but... Yeah. yeah. Um, this, uh... This part uh, is kind of just like holding W. So uh, if Prolix has uh, one or two donations, you can read those. Okay, yes, I do have plenty here. Um, one thing I'm noticing, there's a recurring number in some of these donations, but I don't seem to recall a Delta 104. 
Uh, here's $15 from Monkey Man, who says, I appreciate Utsu channeling the Assassin's Creed wrist blade two years before it even came out. Also, good luck on the run from the 104 Discord. And, oh my uh, God, one... That's what I was thinking of. That's what it reminds <laughs> me of. <laughs> one more quick one. Uh, $10 also from Lady Kestrel. Greetings from 104. May the force be with you, Utsu. Happy Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so right here, I'm going to go and start this uh, bomb hacking from the side, which uh, there's a Gene Ocean elite on my right, and because I did that from the side, he's going to think I'm to the left, so he's just not going to be able to shoot me. That works on some of these. Also, oh, this run is fun. I have, to back, I have to back away from that one because that one will actually kill me if I'm standing right up to it. Uh, it's inconsistent which ones hurt me and which ones don't because this game is the definition of spaghetti code. This doesn't seem uh, like a very efficiently put together spaceship. Uh, is this a spaceship? I actually don't know. It uh, is to actually. To kind of catch you up on the story, this is the core ship. It's like basically just like where they have all of the like droids and like this is where they have like the droid control center, the factory, everything. Uh, and what we're doing here is we're one blowing up, and two we are stealing some codes from it. So step one is blow it up. Uh, I'm typing in a code here that's going to blow up the factory that's right in front of me. Uh, also, we're going to meet a friend here. Uh, I'd just like it if uh, everyone could say hi to them. Uh, their name is Leonard. We see them once in the run, so everyone say say hi to Leonard. That's Leonard. Hi, Leonard. Hi, Leonard. All right, hi. goodbye, Leonard. Bye, Leonard. That's the only time, we see, <laughs> only time we see Leonard. All right, squad. Um, so yeah, that's step one done. Blow up the ship. Step two now, we have to go get the codes, so I have to go find my squad. Um, oh, wait, let me pull that back out. Um, so, I'm gonna shoot this guy, and I'm gonna hope that doing that didn't wake up the people beside him, and it did, so I'm gonna hope that it only woke up one of them. It looks like it woke up two of them. Uh, yeah, I remember this part being okay. particularly yeah. really, really difficult. Oof. Sometimes you can just ignore the one super battle droid, but I like to kill him because there's a chance that, uh, that he'll die and those people won't wake up and you can just get out of there with completely full health. Uh, I went ahead and just healed because it wastes like five seconds and it has potential of saving a lot from just not dying. Seems like that would save a lot. Yeah. Um, so here, this is going to be kind of like a choreographed holding of W. <laughs> um, I'm going to let that fall so that it doesn't, because it scripted the fall after a few seconds. Um, so you can actually shoot it down so that it doesn't actually like fall and kill you. Um, I'm gonna do that again, but on this droidica here, that's gonna kill him. I'm gonna throw a, a shock charge, which is, okay, I'm gonna throw a second one, which is gonna get all of the baseline battle droids. Um, and I'm just gonna tell all of them to wait there because I don't <laughs> need my squad and it's better for them to not come with me. I'm gonna shoot that down. I'm gonna pull out my anti-armor because there's a super battle droid right on the other side of this door and I'm gonna want them dead. Dude, sir, are you a Wraith Vane by any chance? Like an uh, Apex? I used to be. Okay, I mean, the whole like, I don't need my squad, I'm gonna leave him, kinda reminded me of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna kill this Geonosian Elite here real quick. Um, one, so he doesn't kill me, and two, if I needed more ammo for my beam weapon, because, say, I had a really unfortunate uh, spider droid or the beam weapon I got spawned with low ammo, then I'd need a new one for here, because, big surprise, uh, there is a second spider droid being hand-delivered to us. Uh, I'm not going to... If you, uh, if you press E on an enemy, you probably saw me do it with the... Uh, the last spider droid, it brings up a health bar, uh, but I'm not going to do that with that one because uh, I don't want my squad moving from where they are. And if you tell them to, to focus on an enemy, uh, they basically just start moving. So like, why do you always run behind the spider droids? I'm sorry if you explained that and I missed it. Uh, so basically they have a damage point behind them. Uh, their eye can be damaged for two times damage, but the back of them could be damaged for five times damage. Oh, dang. Okay. So that's generally where you want to aim. Alert. Uh, oh, yeah, and yeah, they're here. They're here. Don't worry. Uh, in, in the usually, game. 
in a game they make a point of explaining that oh the eye is a weak spot and they don't tell you anything about the thing on the back it, it just, just you just have to know it somehow i don't know it's never explained there's gonna be a droidica right here that i'm gonna use the remainder of my ammo in this to kill there we go I feel bad for all these people that you just drive buying with the. I mean, they are just droids, right? So. Yeah. There's just gonna be two more droidicas. I'm just gonna kind of do that. They're they're gone. The art style of this game, I always thought was uh, was really interesting. This was like kind of the first. I feel like Star Wars title, whether it be in games or film, that was like really gritty like this, especially with the like the Geonosian beam weapon, you know? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely had a lot more, had like a much darker tone than really anything else, especially like the, the oil and blood splatters on the screen and everything like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love this game because it's it's like every other game before it was like, like, oh, you're the Jedi, you're the hero of the story. And then this one's just like, eh, you're a clone. You're a the, better clone, you're, you're a clone you're that has clone. to do all the dirty work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Does the splatter ever like affect anything, or is it just like a visual thing? <laughs> it's a visual thing. Sometimes it's a little bit annoying to have happen, but it's usually ignorable. Uh, I'm gonna tell all my guys to be here to protect me, and I'm gonna come up to this console. Oh, you and don't I'm have to skip e. for this, do you? E. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna hold E. Oh I was no, why is this a this minute? Too. <laughs> my finger is firmly planted on E. So if I could get some E's from everyone e's, here. I'm, I'm e typing E in chat. I'm e typing E in chat. It's going to be spoiled e for chat because, you know, they're on a delay, but I am typing E in chat right now. E. Right. So wait until the E's appear. <laughs> no, I'm and doing it now. Okay. I'm well, doing it okay. now. E. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't, don't mind my squad dying behind me, okay? It's like that scene <laughs> from Spider-Man where where uh, Stan Lee is a librarian and there's the action going behind him, okay? He's got, he's got headphones on. I was going to say, which, which Spider-Man? <laughs> The, the amazing one, the amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man's always amazing, man. What are you talking about? He, like, swings from webs he, and stuff. That's amazing. He is pretty cool. Uh, don't mind 07 being dead, by the way. Uh, we're going to leave, but we're, we're going to find him later. Uh, 622. He's he's dead, but that's okay. All right, we got the codes. We're leaving now. Don't Again, don't worry that they're dead. We'll, we'll, we'll get them later. Okay, so this is just trading the lives of your squad so you can hold down a button for a minute. Uh, yeah. Yep. That's, that's okay. a good yeah. summary. Also, they start to ignore your order to stand over there if, uh, once this, They're learning. this starts. It's good to see you, 4-2. Oh, he's limping. Usually six, wow. Yeah, he's not usually doing six, good. Oh, yeah, you'll usually try to... You'll usually see me, uh, try to keep my squad above orange health because, uh... Uh, yellow and up, they move at normal speed, but orange, they start limping and they actually move slower. Mm. Um, you're you're fine. You're 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 a big tough commando. You you don't limp, but your squad is. Uh, they they need a little bit of help. Uh, but yeah. If you want to read uh, like one donation here, Prolix. Okay, I have five dollars from from Dingle Hingle saying uh, good luck with the run. May the July fifth be with you. Happy Groundhog Day. Wait, um, isn't it Dark Hell? Okay, I was gonna <laughs> yeah. say, isn't it July seventh now? <laughs> no, it's, gonna, it's it's Groundhog Day. Okay. Keeping the keeping the E theme, I'm gonna skip a whole cutscene here just by pressing E. I'm gonna quick save during there, and then we're gonna quick load. And now I can look around during this cutscene. That is usually just me looking forward as I'm slowly uh, oh, hovering this forward. Mission. Wait, can you move during this? Can you like run off in uh, space? I can, but I'll fall. Oh. Oh. There is a floor to land on, but uh, then I won't be able to get up here, and this is where I need to be. But uh, yeah, that's, that saves like about a second because you can land a little bit early. Can any of you get through? No signal here, sir. I'll tell you uh, what. Save a bit. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say this level like very much scared 13-year-old Bry. I, I, oh yeah. I, yeah, this one was spooky. It, it's not gonna be quite as spooky this time around. I hope, I hope not. It probably will be because we don't have music on, but don't worry about that. Especially in a later level where, well, you'll you'll see. I'll let you know when we're there. Um, but yeah, so yeah, to kind of give you the story on what's happening here. Uh, this is a Republic assault ship that has been missing for a few months now, and that just kind of reappeared. And uh, this map name is actually like Ghost Ship, so 
Republic's basically like, hey, can you go take a look at what's on there? We're scared. Um, so I'm just going to be uh, walking here. So uh, Prolix, you probably have time for like two more donations. Nice. Okay. Here uh, we received a $100 uh, for MSF with the comment, I uh, grew up with Republic Commando and the paperback novels. Super happy to see it at GDQ. Bodeon, brothers all. Let's rearrange some architecture, Deltas. <laughs> And I uh, also have $150 from uh, Akadiel, who says, Good luck, Utsu. Thanks, Akadiel. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is Clone Trooper 1. He's the first one. Hello. Hey, he's the first one. ever Clone Trooper. Oh, he, he literally is number one. Whoa. Yeah, he's number one. It says in his name. And okay. Does this never, like, wait, wouldn't that make him? Team? Wouldn't that canonically make him like? Uh, I mean, I don't, I'm not okay. I'm not a Star Wars lore person. But wouldn't that make him like, like Jango Fett or whatever? Well, no, no, no. Jango Fett wasn't a clone. He was Jango Fett. He's Clone Trooper One. Oh, he's okay. So he's the clone. first. I gotcha. Okay. Did he just die? Yep. Uh, yeah. What a waste of good genes. There you go. <laughs> yep. The Delta just said it. Yeah. Is it like Levi's or something? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go and kill these uh, scavenger droids here. They don't do a lot of damage, but they latch onto you and uh, make you move slower. These droids, so... I don't like these droids. I don't like them. They are the worst. Yeah, these, these droids are awful. Not only do they latch onto you, they shoot like this beam that does way too much damage. Yeah, that. I'm glad that the two speedrunners here agree with me. It makes me feel better. Yeah, they're the worst. So, like, real talk, is this like a horror segment? Because this this legitimately feels like we're in like it's dead definitely space or it's yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. spooky. Yeah. yeah, it's presented in like a in like a scary way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this part is supposed to be scary. It like writes it as like all of your guys are like being picked off one by one, and you're like, what's going on? Before it actually like shows you what the threat is. So they're just doing uh, alien isolation. Kinda, yeah, except you have guns. Uh, I kind of pushed myself into that collision there, and it made those scavenger droids not know where I was exactly, so. Kind of like the uh, thing I just I did, did something that she did earlier. earlier. I'm sorry. It was just kind of like the thing that you did earlier with the, uh, the, the Genos and on, on, in the core ship, where you kind of start the, start doing the E point from the side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there you are. Um, see, so I was going to say back there is, uh, you probably saw, just rehearing what Cram said back when I we first talked about quick saving, quick loading. Uh, I, you can kind of move at the beginning or at the end of, uh, load screens, so. Wait. So I just kind of, like, uh, I just kind of scooted forward at the end of that load screen. Save a little bit of time. Huh? If that clone was number one, wouldn't that make him Smitty Warbin Jaegerman Jensen? Oh my god. <laughs> he was, he was number one! one. <laughs> right? He was! <laughs> it was his hat! It was his hat 38! He was number one! Uh, here's just gonna be a, a W hold section from the. This is gonna be the most intense uh, chase sequence ever. You're gonna have some dudes on the right here, they're gonna burst out. Uh, we've got great value R2 here. <laughs> uh, used, used to kill him, but. I found out you don't need to, so I, I let him be. He's not hurting anyone. Man, oh, yeah, three. these dudes were... Yeah, these enemies are tough. Yeah. Yeah, they just kind of come out of nowhere, and you're just kind of like... Oh, excuse, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. Just kind of... <laughs> uh, oh, this was a really, like, raw part when I first played. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, he just... Whoa, hits what him. the heck? Yeah, he just executes no him. Anymore. Also, this shotgun... Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you're gonna pick it up right now, but you can't. Okay. You can't pick that one up. <sighs> Dang it! Okay, when we get there, I'm gonna. I love that shotgun, dude. Yeah. Yes, I, it is the most broken weapon in the here. game. Uh, those mines that you can. Go ahead. Is that a prox mine? Like, like you step yeah, on it, you yeah. blow up. Yeah. If you uh, it, it's kind of like if you walk through it while standing up, it'll blow up. But if you just kind of crouch and uncrouch through it, you can kind of move a little bit faster and not set it off. That's cute. That's the only time you see us do that, though. Most of the time, we just walk through them. Uneasy, that um, is. So yeah, going back to the horror element of this, uh, this section here, I'm going to quick save and quick load, which is going to cause a whole lot of enemies not to spawn. Uh, it's just going to be really just... Uh, uh, anom anomalous. 
this is really eerie, uh, okay. especially without the music here. Okay, now this is dead. Like you're, this is you're doing a dead space right now. Like th I'm <laughs> yeah. being pranked. I'm gonna get jump scared yeah. here. The, the, for the funny thing is, normally the lo that level has like a whole bunch of clone troopers fighting each other, and there's like a big battle going on. But because of the quick save, quick load, none of them spawn. Here we All go. Right, this so gun. Uh, he, this gun is so sick. Yeah. This is the best gun in the game, but not because it's a gun. It's a. Uh, it's a melee weapon. Oh, it does have a good melee. It has the fastest melee in the game, which uh, we will elaborate more on. And it's also a, just a decent gun. This is a well done shotgun. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a very, did, did, very fun to use. Did uh, either of y'all play the multiplayer for this like, yeah. back in the day at all? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was good memories with that. There actually is a, uh, you can install a mod that, uh, lets you go on like custom servers and stuff so you actually can still play the uh the multiplayer that's pretty cool is it active like i mean uh, yeah th there's still people there's a whole discord for it dang that's pretty cool i used to only use a uh... oh, hello i mean for like <laughs> so since this whole game is like squad based like is is there like a commander for multiplayer in a squad uh, no it was primarily pvp Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it was it was basically like it was kind of like Halo. Yeah. Okay. Very very, very traditional first person shooter multiplayer, but it was still very good. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was just wondering if like you know one person gets picked as a leader and like they can command people to do stuff like. That would have been cool. Tactical stuff. That would have been cool. Yeah. We tried to get co-op working by like going through like custom games and stuff. And having them like load the campaign maps, but if the the game's like code is so reliant on it actually like being in single player for the maps to work, that like if anybody that uh tries to do anything that's not the host player, the game will just like crash for them. Um, I tried to like make it work a little bit a little bit ago but it just wasn't working so i just kind of gave up would have been cool if you ever get that working oh, yeah. up. this game would be great I, uh, yeah it would oh yeah it'd be so fast where is the main character keeping all of these explosive charges he is okay uh it's, it's elaborating the same reason. on something i did back there uh i threw a, a flashbang and it made the turret blind uh that doesn't work on a. It doesn't work. Did on you remember to double load the level here? Worse turrets. Did you double load this level? I think so. Okay. I'll do it again just to make sure. I didn't see the loading screen twice, so I just wanted to make sure. It's pretty important to do it here, was... otherwise there's. Yeah. Good looking yeah. out, dude. Keep your eyes open. I got you. I was you. a little slow on it, so I wasn't entirely for sure certain. Could you could it be safe uh, to like double load wait. every level or you you can uh, it doesn't really. you can do it on every level it just doesn't do anything on a lot of levels it's only certain levels that it actually has some effect okay it just depends on how the levels were scripted what did i did there with that flashbang oh, oh these are trained Sorry. oceans, trained oceans. Okay. these are trained oceans um I, I keep talking when i think it's all clear oh you're um, good so uh what I tried to do there with that flashbang there was uh, if you flashbang that Trandoshan before he goes through that door, it'll actually stay open so you won't need to like blow it open. I'm gonna go and grab these here. And uh, yeah, I'm just walking through these mines. They're actually very inconsequential. <laughs> and there's a scavenger droid right here. I missed. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. They get in your head and stuff and train. This is really a jump you. scare. Dude, All right, it's so listen. spooky. Yeah. Yeah, this mission is something else. Oh yeah, so y'all ever played Team Fortress 2? No. I, I've dabbled. Maybe? Yeah. Uh, uh, on the left here, we have uh, my favorite class, the Heavy Weapons Lizard. <laughs> okay, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, he uh, He's a big lizard and he has a minigun. And he's a lot and, of damage. Uh, <laughs> now we run away. That's a lot of damage. Uh, Wait, you don't fight him? No. Uh, we did the quick save quick load, uh, and that... Um, that loads the the bomb trigger early, so we don't actually have to fight him because he's a very hard fight. And if we don't have to fight him, then that's good. Yeah, they, they do a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, I didn't hit the trigger. Whoops. I thought I got far enough in. There we go. 
So here, here's the uh, shotgun. Here's where the shotgun really shines is melee. We talked yeah. about being able to cancel animations with reload. Uh, one of the animations you can cancel is the cooldown on your melee attack, which allows you to do this. Oh. <laughs> I told you the shotgun was a melee weapon. Anyways, that droid dispenser is dead now. Oh man. Okay, and y'all, these what? things, these things casually are such a pain. <laughs> The droid dispensers, they literally are just infinite enemy spawners until you can, you're able to disable them. So that is, that's a great strat. That's excellent. Yeah. We don't even really need to do that one since, but we're waiting on 40 anyway to totally hack this door. Very much so, hacking. Why not? Wait, so that was yeah, just like messing around, like showing off the quick, showing off the quick cancel. Yeah, that's actually like a strat, like damage. Yeah, yeah, so so all of the droid dispensers in the game, like normally you're supposed to use like a bomb to blow them up, but they also have like a health bar and you can just beat them to death with your shotgun. Yeah, the bomb just yeah, happens okay, to sure. do as much damage. What, what, what's the input um, sequence for that reload cancel? It's just reload, or melee reload? Reload. Yeah, you just kind of... Uh, melee just, reload, yeah. You just kind of have a certain certain uh, rhythm to it. It's That's cool. really easy. I actually have two sets of binds for melee reload. I have my mouse buttons for just playing. Um, and then for spamming, I have V and B. Oh, that makes sense. So you just... Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we got another uh, uh, turret here for invisibility. I don't really need it, but yeah. This one cuts off my arms, though. So. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, I don't get yeah. arms for this one. Really playing into the horror theme here, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. Telling you. Um, it's okay, I can summon them back. Okay, guess we're good. This guy's enjoying a nice food and we just oh, crashed. Bro. <laughs> Poor guy. He's, he's having a good day. He's, he's having his lunch and some guy blows open the door and, and weapon busts him in the face. Oh, here's another happy weapon. To, uh, whack. It doesn't even look like you're hitting him that hard. It kind of looks like you're just like brushing him with the end of it. Just a little, yeah. little, little tap on the face and down the go. So I don't need to kill these guys, but uh, I just kind of do to keep them from shooting me in the butt. Yeah, this shotgun is just like the best gun in the game. It's so good. I'm going to walk through that. I'm going to throw a shot grenade against there. It's going to get all of them. going to wait for that scavenger droid to die. I'm a little low on health, so I'm gonna poke this real quick. I'm not gonna get a lot of health, just gonna get in the yellow. Yeah, the, the shotgun, even without the kind of abuse, the abusing that you can do of the uh, melee attack, it's, it's still a really good weapon. So I'm gonna hop on here, I'm gonna quick save, I'm gonna quick load, hold W and D and crouch all at the same time, and I'm just gonna whoop, oh. get on through, through that hole. Cool, very neat. Wait, so, so they're just like, is that, is that just like, like a lag clip? It's not tech. It's so so. It's a little complicated. It's not technically a clip. You're not actually going through any geometry. It's just doing that. It's a way you can actually kind of step up a ledge that's a little bit too high to step up of and get on top of while also crouching. Um, huh. It, yeah. That's like that's it, really cool that that got like figured out. You know, that's that just seems like yeah. just a wild thing to like test. Yeah. Did you get the data? It took me forever to figure out what they were actually doing there. I had to go to the fourth place run because uh, they were the only one using an input overlay. Uh, I had 0740 die here also because otherwise they won't let me let 6-2 heal. Uh, don't mind that those super bad just spawn, by the way. I hit there. Okay. I'm going to throw these and I'm just going to kind of be uh, running through here and trying to get my squad to hold close while killing all these guys. Yeah, this is a pretty difficult uh, level to op optimize just because your squad likes to fight people and there's a lot of enemies here. Um, so managing to kill wet enemies quick enough so that your squad will follow is kind of tricky. Why do we need the squad for this level specifically? Uh, there is an area at the end of it where it's good to have everyone with you because they will help you clear the room a lot faster than you can by yourself. So they will actually oh, okay. like kill targets. They're not just aggro sponges. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They gotcha. actually have pretty good AI, like especially on easy. 
Um, I do remember that actually. Yeah, now that you mentioned it. Yeah. They're not so busted that like you find yourself just like being like, well, why do I need to do anything? I have my squad. Get some back. But they're also they're also not like so dumb that you're like, why are they even here? Yeah, it's it's pretty well like, balanced. Do they like do different things, or, or are they all just kind of the same? They were originally meant to be, but uh, back when this game was getting made, this game also almost didn't make didn't happen. Yeah. Uh, they got like a they got like a a studio lead. Uh, like they got like a new like CEO or something basically. Uh, and he basically was just like took every project and was just like cancel them all, get them out of here. And they're just like, we're like almost done with this one. Can we just like finish it? And he's like, okay. I think it's dumb, but if you think it'll be good. I mean, this seems pretty cool. I'm, I'm surprised that like, you this know, you look at this and be like, I'm eh, not feeling it. Yeah, this is very much a cult classic, I would say, at this point, too. It's, it's legitimately like a really good FPS and one of my favorite games I played as, as a kid. Yeah, the, the, the release was a little bit rushed, which is why the AI didn't quite ever get finished to, to the original intent. Okay, so, so they all to... are all the same. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're all, yeah. they have different voice, voice actors to give them a little different personality, but their AI is the same. Okay. So I'm gonna do a quick save, quick load here on one of these press enter screens again. Um, and that's gonna let me walk during this cutscene here, where usually you'd be frozen in place listening to the advisor. Um, and this dialogue lasts all, almost the same amount of time it takes to walk to the end of the level. So this skip literally cuts the time of this level in half. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to kind of be punching these guys as I go through. Uh, I've been using the shotgun primarily for a lot of this level for two reasons. One, because it's just a it's just a good gun. Uh, two, uh, I need to conserve my ammo and my other guns as much as I can, because there's very little until later on. Um, so just a quick uh, explanation of the kind of general uh, way that the speedruns go for this game the first section of the game on geonosis it's very heavily focused on like there's a lot of skips and a lot of things like the, the jumping over the rocks and things like that um there's very few skips in this game the thing where we go through the window is like one of the only actual skips in the whole assault chip um so a lot of this section of the game is just ammo management squad management combat uh that sort of thing just optimizing that is where you get the time saves here and then the yeah, it's basically just playing casual percent. Yeah, and then the final section of the game is kind of a combination of both. It's it's got a little bit of both. Looking yeah. forward to it. I mean, that always feels way gonna... more worth it in speedruns to me. Yeah, I'm gonna just kind of ignore this. I'm gonna put uh, someone on there for oh hi, hello, someone there for uh, <laughs> coming up here, and I'm gonna be walking all the way here because there's a rocket turret at the end of this uh area that I need oh, to get someone on. I specifically remember this turret, yeah. Oh, I see why you would need the squad for this. I'm, so, I'm kind of, rem I'm just coming back to me, yeah. This is my favorite level of the game because there's a lot that you can do to optimize the, um, kind of how quickly you finish this level with your squad. Uh, there's a way you can kind of post your squad, you can go through the whole level and post your squad at different places, then backtrack to, to assign them um, to different different places and a lot of little yeah. management that can you can optimize a lot of, See, a lot of commands scorch off of that uh that sniper there and then tell him to hack that console i've got sev with me so i'm going to tell him to hack that uh, fixer is literally on there just so that other enemies can't be on there um and then i'm going to go to the last uh one that's all the way over here um is that one of the turrets that could make you invincible? Like, would it have been helpful to get on that, or does it just not matter? <laughs> no, not that that one didn't matter because that's not one of the ones that they had issues with. It was specifically that like sitting down kind. Okay. Yeah, that uh, that big rocket one has a shield in the front, so nothing can hurt you from the front. So they didn't really have to apply anything onto you. Squad, poison gas. Uh, All right. So, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. 
go ahead. I was not gonna say anything. Oh yeah, I was just want I wanted to refresh on like what exactly is happening here in the story, like why we're why we're at this area. Oh is yeah, it, is so, it almost uh, like a prison or something like that? Yeah, so this is the detention center. We were actually uh, on our way to uh, to basically the bridge or whatever, um, and they just kind of demolished the elevator we're in. So now we have to find another way up there. Going to the hangers right now. Yeah. Usually I'd place that myself, but I kind of in the moment forgot where all the health stations were. <laughs> and this is the worst level of the game. Oh yeah, this is the 100% worst level in the whole game. Why is that? Yeah. Uh, just enemies are jerks, uh, squads, a bunch of babies. <laughs> uh, there's like 30 scavenger droids this whole section. There's specifically an issue where your squad will just like not follow you through this hallway here. Often mm. they just kind of just stop walking. <laughs> I see. Yeah. So you notice I can walk through that mine there also, and I'm just fine. Uh, where is this guy? Where is he? Oh, there he is. This um, level is very gray, so it all kind of blends together. Yeah. yeah. Um, are they with me? There they are. Why are kind they of? crouching? <laughs> Doesn't really feel like they're making that much of an effort to stop you from escaping. Like, yeah, they're, you know, standing in front of you, but they're also just moving out of your way. Yeah. So I mentioned that, uh, that mine back there, uh, which uh, didn't do too much damage. Uh, for some reason, this mine right here, the one that you need blown up more than any other, can just demolish you. Like, I'm gonna make a quick save just in case, but it might kill me. Oh, yeah, I'm on one HP. Wow. Yeah, yeah. it oh. does so. So I'm going to just heal to full. But I also have to fight off all these guys. And the reason why I need to blow that up is because I need someone on this uh, turret right here. But because of this mine, they oh. won't actually get <laughs> into it. Yeah, it does so <laughs> much damage. So scary. Yeah. And, God. and reminder, this this is on easy. <laughs> is there like a way to like not like like to take out the mine or? This turret is so cool. Yeah, there is, but it it's got a timer on it, and so it's just way faster just to walk through it. Oh, just to face tank it. Okay, sure. So yeah, so you need someone on that other turret, otherwise you can't do that. Anyways, I'm gonna heal back all of that, <laughs> that health I took. <laughs> Something I like about the health, one thing, they there's a whole lot of different models for these back to healers. Like, there's not just like one they keep using. Um, they actually made like five or six. A lot of the a lot of the art design in this game is really cool, especially the design of all the Trandoshan weapons, especially that turret too. I was just watching that like, man, this just looks neat. Watching all the moving oh, yeah. parts go together. Now this this level here, this is actually my absolute favorite level because okay. it's a uh, it doesn't really have any cool skips or anything, but just you set up your squad in this just like a live action Rube Goldberg machine. Where just like one thing leads to another, leads to another. It's just so fun to watch happen. Yes, it's it's incredibly optimized, and you don't really do anything, and everything just kind of happens in front of you. Yeah. Um. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna run run everybody through this as I go. So step one is we get a bomb on one of these barrels. Step two, we put forty there on the grenades and 07 on the sniping and then i put the remaining person over here by the shield regulator and then we just kind of come on over here and we wait for that thing right there to get over here <laughs> uh so uh if we, we we have time for donations basically to say <laughs> Right on. Here is a $25 donation from Game Swag with two S's. Hey, Utsu, greetings from room 104. Good luck on the run. I'm sure you're going to kill it. We also have $5 from Big Law. Hey, Utsu. Hey. Big Law, Big Law here. <laughs> Just wanted to ask you a question. If you could take Leonard anywhere in the galaxy instead of blasting him each run, where would you take him? Good luck, girl. You'll kill it. Also, happy Groundhog's Day. <laughs> I think I would take Leonard. 
I take him here because it's my favorite level. Um, so let's see if this worked here. Yep. There we go. Wow. So, so yeah. So what I did there was there was a proximity bomb over there, and I'm just remembering right now. I didn't pick up the ammo in this room, so I'll get that while I'm t talking. Uh, there was a proximity bomb on the barrels here, so basically the droid set down, got out, and set that off. Neat. Sure. That seems pretty good. I've discovered a vulnerability in the hangar force field. The regulations. So right, so once this dialogue is oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was guessing this is just you just chilling while your squad just does this. Yeah. That's fun. So here I'm gonna place that there. I'm just gonna have to wait on that. While I do that, I'm gonna go grab these uh nades here that I would have done earlier. Um, then once that's done, we uh, I'm just gonna blow that up, and I can go on to the next level. But yeah, this is my favorite level just because it's so fun. Just kind of watch unfold. And, and that's it. <laughs> and that's that level. That is cool. That is cool. I'm gonna walk to the end. If you ever see me holding my pistol out? It's just because I like the pistol. I like Do you the. Yeah. Nope. You do, oh, you do in the multiplayer, but you don't in the campaign. Yeah. Hang on, this is the hardest boss. Uh, one second. Oh. Good okay. job. Nice one. Okay, I like, that's him. a... He was right. That's like a war crime. He, did, he, was, he was fleeing. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry about it, okay? He, he, called, he called his butt face. Well, war crime he accusations. He was, he was just leaving. You. He was just like, I choose not to be here. And you're like, no, I would shoot you in the back of the head. He's injured, no, running for help. I shot him in the butt. Don't worry about it. Okay, well, I'm not sure that makes it I'm, better. I, I'm with uh, I'm with Amy on this, actually. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Don't don't worry about it. Okay, we work for the Republic. It's only a war crime. It's not a war crime if there's no military to judge you. You can't fire me. I quit. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> oh yeah, but I I love it. I, I'm mad that this level is the one that's just so easy because there's like a speeder over there that you can like hack and then launch it into a droid dispenser and it's super cool, but you just don't even bother with that. <laughs> now, this is also... Oh, go ahead. Oh, you continue it too. I was just going to say, this is another one of those like cool levels where things just kind of unfold, uh, but to a less extent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was gonna say I see a lot of uh, comparisons to to Halo in, in the Twitch chat, and I, I would say what what folks got to remember as well is that this game came out in 2005, which was you know one year after Halo 2, very much the peak of like this this kind of sci-fi shooter era. Um, so definitely definitely took a lot of like inspiration from that for sure. Oh yeah, I've seen like memes of like Master Chief with Delta Squad. That would be such a cool <laughs> crossover, dude. I'm not even the big Star Wars fan, and that'd be so sick. <laughs> Probably my favorite one is like uh, when you lose your friends at the mall, but you find a new squad. <laughs> and it's just Master Chief with Delta Squad. <laughs> that'd be like an unstoppable combination. Honestly, yeah. John oh, Halo and John Delta 36. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm going to go and tell those guys to stand there. I'm going to start hacking this. Uh, and that's going to bring up a... Uh, what advisor refers to as ordinance, but uh, that ordinance is a uh, it's a walker. Which uh, if you're you're familiar if you if you're familiar with uh, what a walker is, uh, well if you're unfamiliar with what a walker is, uh, it's a it's a really big tank with legs. So uh, while we wait for that to come on up, uh, if we have say two donations. Okay, uh, so I will spend one donation's time just to let you all know that we are less than $5,000 away from Yo. half a million dollars raised. Now, I'm no scientist or whatever it is, but I think that means we're like 99% of the way there. So, uh, awesome job there. That, uh, we're doing really well. Okay. Can we hit it? <laughs> can we hit it by the time the run's over? Let's hit 500k before the run's done. Like, for I sure. I can. I believe in this chat. 100%. Let's do that. There's still plenty of time, so. And uh, I'll just give you one comment here. It's from Dark Saber saying, "Staying up late to catch a bit of my pal Utsu's run. Just wanted to say good luck, and I know you'll do great. Uh, thank you for the twenty-five dollars there." 
so uh, to kind of explain why we uh, were using this instead of just placing a bomb like we have been, uh, this place is actually really hard, and even like in-game they refer to this place as like too hard to just take on. Mm. As you can see, there's like six droid dispensers in here. Yeah. So instead they're like, all right, we're going to send you in something uh, to help out. It's very satisfying, um, especially when you're playing it casually on like hard difficulty when because it, it's just such a hard area and like, oh, yeah. finally the walker comes, raises from the ground and yeah, it's very satisfying. Okay, so like what makes this diff what like, is, how is this run like different on hard? Is it is it just like you have to focus on the combat a lot more or? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's yeah, everything just like melts you. Yeah, yeah the, the game casually on hard is is absolutely no joke. Wait, so it's hard? It, it's yeah, very well, hard. It, it actually yeah. is, yeah. <laughs> Not to mean, but yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I remember uh, I, I got this on I got this on PC like a couple years ago, and I was like, I'm a much better gamer now. I'll, I'll, I'm going to play this on PC, and I'm going to have a much better time with it. And I did not. In fact, I don't think I ended up completing it because of uh, a certain segment on Kashyyyk with a bridge and like a bunch mm -hmm. of dispensers or something. I think I actually gave up. Oh, you're gonna be so mad at what we do there. I think I'm. I mean, if it's if you're saying it like that, I think we're gonna be pretty happy. So, so this funny. room. Uh, uh, go ahead. This room we have to kill all of these uh, battle droids here um, to be able to progress the, the story, and it's really hard because the game keeps shaking my screen. screen shake. Oh wow! It's terrible. Yeah. All right. Uh, so um, we've got. Three minute long E holds. So oh, e. oh, can we get e? E. <laughs> Let's do E plus donations. Like I really want us to hit 500k yeah. before this run's done. I know we got time, yeah, but go. like, but like, let's like speed run to that 500k. Yeah, go and go and read some donations. <laughs> it's a great combination, E and donations. I, I hadn't put it together before, but yeah, this it, it just feels right. This is great. Okay, uh, here's $100 from Zero Bake, who says, Vote on, my brothers. Just wanted to donate during one of my favorite games of my childhood. Thanks going out to all the stream tech and reps from MSF for getting this event off the ground again this year. Also have a $25 donation here from Nito Burritos, who hey, says, Nito. Congrats to one of my best friends, Utsu, on getting her run into SGDQ. She always does great work, and I'm so proud of her. Also, shout out to one of my favorite people, Brian Otto, on the couch. I love you both so much, and good luck on the run, heart. Uh, we love you too. Uh, Michael donated $100 and said, Thank you for destroying one of my favorite games growing up. I have I think, a, I, think, oh. I was gonna say I think it's always fascinating when like people come back to, to games from their childhood and just speedruns are just destroying the heck out of them. Like it's, it's so cool. <laughs> oh yeah, if I look out this window you can just actually watch this thing get blown apart here in a second. And I have uh five hundred dollar donation here from M. That's uh, just the letter M. Thank you for the generosity. Donating for my favorite Star Wars game of all time. So glad to finally see it at GDQ. Good luck to Utsu and thank you to all the staff who make this event amazing year after year. Good taste. Thanks for the assistance, Yep, and there it goes, just falling apart. Also you didn't see but all the joys just kinda of fell over because that blew up. And that's right, the assault um, ship. Yeah, that is the assault ship. Probably my favorite just section of the game. And now we are moving on to Kashyyyk, which, uh, well, it's it's real fun. It's real fun. You'll see. Uh, we probably have time for two more donations. Okay, uh, here is one from Anonymous, uh, helping out one of our open incentives right now, uh, the uh, Dullahan fight uh, for the Golden Sun run. $300, uh, thanks so much for that. And the comment just says, for Golden Sun Dullahan. And also, uh, speaking of our, our open uh, incentives right now, Anonymous donating toward bonus, our next bonus game, an advance yes. toward your next mission, 47. The money has been wired to your account. They donated $470. <laughs> nice. Oh, That's good. Yeah, that one's gonna be All sick. Right. 
So yeah, so we're on Kashyyyk here, so uh, these guys here have a have a shotgun, so I'm just gonna throw that nade, grab it, and okay, we're invincible now, we're powerful. Not actually invincible, there's no turret. Uh, but we might as well be. Uh, I'm gonna be watching Delta Squad here, because there's a chance they'll- yep, Fixer got stuck there. Uh, when was- when was my last- oh, yep, that is a long- When's my next autosave? Oh, yep, Fixer's already stuck. Don't worry, I planned for this. Can you not just restart level? I can. That wastes time. Because they need to walk all the way. So now, look, they're unstuck now. Yay! Whoa, Whoa. safety strats, let's go! Keep them off that door. Free puppy, right, so, $498,000. Uh, we are closing Ooh. in. So uh, here, I'm going to do uh, what I call protocol, get the heck over here. Which uh, I do uh, secure area and form up and just spam it because that just issues like a whole bunch of uh, move commands to the squad and I need them all to be standing in this area for the story to progress. All right. Oh yeah, I love the way that Forty just kind of looks at you here. <laughs> I don't know why. He's, he's just kind of giving you a... I cannot believe this is happening to us. <laughs> he's just got so much sass through his helmet. Even the real... Hmm. 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 Alright, so, uh... We're coming up on a section up here where, uh... We're gonna basically skip a whole level just by walking over top of it. Okay. Um, so you saw in Geonosis uh, that we uh, we skipped some zip lines uh, by holding walk. You actually can't do that very often in Kashyyyk for some reason, um, which was a big problem for a while until uh, back when the quick save, quick loading stuff was found. It was found that you could uh, you could do that just by quick saving, quick loading before the map. So uh, this level here used to be like three minutes, I think. Um, but if we quick save, quick load, we can hop to the side here and just hang on, walk <laughs> walk on the ceiling of the level. And this uh, feels illegal. Normally, like when it comes to speedruns, I'm not generally a fan of like quick save quick load abuse for for no real reason other than like i just don't like it but this is legitimately really cool i am a fan of this uh yeah so we just got to walk over top that level so it ch ch goes from three minutes to 10 seconds for some reason my gold for there says it's five seconds i have no idea how i achieved that <laughs> So uh, I'm coming up on a on a big big sequence break and skip here, which uh, I uh, I'm gonna have a really really precise setup for. I'm gonna like you know I'm gonna I'm gonna line up my my crosshair with a with a thing you know uh, do the pixel pokey. Uh, you, you know, set pixel you know, alignment, you know. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna set up. Yeah. It's, it's a are setup, you, you know. Are you yanking my chain? Mario. This sounds like a chain yank. It's it's a it's a setup, okay? You're just gonna set up. You're gonna. And there we go. Uh, okay. Easy, <laughs> easy every time. <laughs> First try. <laughs> well, well, do you guys have a name for that skip? Do you call it like Wiggle Skip or something? Uh, or? It's just Grievous Skip because uh, the, the, uh, lo and behold, hi, there's General Grievous. The yeah, bodyguard skip. This, this was like the first appearance of these dudes right like like this came out before episode three right yeah, yeah. this came out yeah. before episode three like that was a whole selling point of this that like you got like a sneak peek into episode three um oh yeah i'm gonna just punch this guy <laughs> oh my god it's hell this is so, so sick you might not have noticed but what Utsu did there was actually a pretty big sequence break normally you have to do plant a bomb um you meet the actual objective of this level which is to save the Wookiee Turtle and do a bunch of other stuff but you can um, if you do things out of order you can actually skip that and it's all enabled by that super amazing setup to get over that little barrier there yeah we were up there Grievous was here so the, what you have to do is you have to look at Grievous and then blow up that wall that we jumped over come down here uh, hack a 30 second bomb come in here then come through this door and then fight those guys wow Dang. All right, so here I'm just gonna tell my squad to stay there because they're just gonna ruin everything. Uh -uh. 
They're just trying oh, to help. Oh, the Trandoshans are back. And of course, the first oh, yeah, thing we do, pick up a shotgun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, we lost. We lost the shotgun, so we know. We need it back. There's a lot of foliage in this part of the game, so uh, it's a little hard to keep track of where you're going sometimes. Well, luckily, it's all like one-sided texture foliage, so as soon as you walk through, you're good. Um, I'm gonna be doing some hardcore parkour up here. Uh, okay, usually, parkour. you have to like walk through these like trenches here to get over there. But uh, if you come up here and you just kind of jump up here, you can skip all that. Just nice. kind of take a bit of a straighter line. All right, um, I'm gonna throw this just to kill these droids. Just kind of get them out of the way. Um, here, this this part can go bad. Uh, if everyone here just decides they don't want to behave right. I'm going to throw one of those, blow him up. Nice. Then I'm going to put this here, and uh, more likely than not, there's just going to be a whole party behind me as soon as I'm done with this. Uh, yeah, there they Hello. are. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. So this is actually a, uh, a pretty uh, tricky out of bounds here. Uh, there's a whole lot of super battle droids, so uh, I have a safety save in case I can't get this. I'm gonna hit them with that. Nice. Okay, I'm up here. Good job. And that was the hardest part. There so you go. go. Nice. Good nice. job. Good job. So I'm just kind of blindly walking through this foliage here. Uh, oh no, it's over that here. It's over here. That, that strikes me as another one of those things where it doesn't look like really visually flashy, but you can tell just by looking at it, like, I bet you have to practice that a lot. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, and that skips like a whole section of where like you need to do a do a hack and then like lure some guys through a minefield and stuff and then walk over here. Uh, now I'm gonna do another one of those uh, quick save quick loads to skip a zip line. And that's gonna let me do a big skip. And then we're actually gonna do some physics abuse, which uh, we haven't done yet in this game. So we're gonna be walking all the way up here, it, hoping that I don't slip off because it's very easy to slip off. I, I could explain that this coming up so you can focus on doing it. So, uh, so basically yeah, what you're supposed to do here is you're supposed to hack the console, it moves the crane over and then drops a, drops that thing on the spider droid's head, but instead you can actually like push it with your blaster, and then when it swings back over, you Whoa. shoot it to drop it, and it just falls right on its head. Wait, it has like physics? That's really yeah. cool. That that's Is that like an intentional solve for that, or is that just something y'all no. figured out? No, I'm doing the actual intentional one right here. What you're oh. supposed to do is just hack this, and then it'll oh. swing that on over. That's really cool. That's wild. This is what, oh, 2005? 2005. That they had that? I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, games like Half Life 2 came out in this era too, so. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I've, I've never seen Half Life in my life, so. <laughs> you're, oh, yeah, I'm, you're I'm joking, in the ship right? now. No, I've actually never played Half Life. Anyway, so there's a thing I could have done there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, um, so I'm just kind of going to be holding a W here, so, uh, if we have donations. All right, yeah, I will try to read some while also keeping an eye on the total because we are tantalizingly close. I, I don't even want to tease you about how close we are. We, we made it. We just made it. Yes! Oh, yeah. 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 Let's go. 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 Oh, it's I so would great. clap, but I'm holding W. Uh, okay, I'll clap. I'll clap for you all. Thank you. <laughs> hey, now now um, you can clap. You're good. Uh, uh, so, uh, sorry, donations. Uh, let me know. Let me know when to stop here. Uh, uh, Brian Otto, Anonymous has your back. We have a fifteen hundred dollar donation from Anonymous saying, "I got you, Brian. Let's hit zero point five mil." Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and um, ten dollars here from Tokigi. Hit five hundred thousand by the end of the run. Sounds too doable. Utsu, do the thing with the speed. I'm super proud to see one of my best and oldest friends on the GDQ stage. And also uh, QPF donating, saying 500,000 hype, let's go. They donated $1,000. Dang. Yo. All right, so wow. here, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be putting my squad in certain places, and I'm just going to be shooting this tree. 
because uh, the Republic hates nature. No, the real reason is because uh, <laughs> we need to breach this uh, door here, and that's the actual intended way. So we don't have a shotgun anymore, so the best thing to replace that is a rocket launcher. Shotgun and then, uh, better we're going to be having now. another one of those heavy weapons lizards here. Oh, yeah, throw a flashbang. And then fire off. Ah, uh, that thing and is now so he's dead. cool. So I actually have to uh, have to lift it up after I do the full charge. Otherwise, the rockets will the bottom rockets will hit the floor and kill me. Wait, I yep. just realized. It's... Did Disney own Star Wars when this game came out? No, no, no. no. Why are there Mickey Mouse ears on the bombs then? <laughs> uh, Amy, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do another uh, oob here. I'm just gonna hop up here. Oh, wait, did I get the? I didn't get them. I want these. I'm gonna get up here. I'm gonna hop up here. Wait, they basically just made a bridge to get up here. Wait, is this the? Is this that bridge I was complaining about? No, 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 that's no. Okay. I was gonna say that's not to like the end game sequence, right? Yeah. Uh, not quite, but we're on the the mission sequence leading up to that. There's like right, right. A, a level or two bef before that. In fact, I think it's actually after the next level. I'm gonna hop over this. Oh, what oh, the? Uh, Wait, hang on. <laughs> that, that guy just hit so all of his shots. No, you're not. So yeah, yeah, I, t I told you that sometimes he, they just yeah. do immense damage. You, you literally got one shot at, dude. <laughs> yeah, I... So yeah, you can you can die on easy. It does happen. Yeah, you, you, you can twice. die on easy. Attack them twice. Technically three times if you count the intentional death from the beginning. <laughs> uh, anyway, so our rocket launcher is out of ammo, so of course we're gonna get another shotgun. Then I'm gonna jump into this corner, which is gonna clip me up there. And I'm gonna quick save here because these guys can actually demolish me. Like that. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> which actually No problem. I don't oh. wanna go with that little health if I can help it. Excuse me. Yeah, I like that health more. Okay. <laughs> It's not too much, but you know what? It's better than what I had. So yeah, this is the bridge. This is like the hard bridge. Um, which it is still pretty hard. Um, but if I do it right, then everything will go smoothly. Yeah, this segment casually literally made me stop my replay of this two years ago. Throw that. Throw one of those. Tell my squad to get on here. Where did he come from? Oh. Yeah, these are battle droids that keep spawning and refilling up the turret there. I'm gonna tell someone to get on there. I'm gonna beat the heck out of this. I'm stealing this. <laughs> Feel free. Um, Has oh, he started he's, yet? Oh, he's busy. He's fighting. busy fighting that, so it's just gonna. I don't know why he's focusing more on fighting the battle super battle droid than this, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. So we just have to uh, clear out the enemies here. Yeah, there we go. This is probably my second favorite uh, dialogue exchange in the entire game. Uh, so you'll notice it's me who's who's packing this charge. I'm the one who's uh, setting this bomb. <laughs> He's like, all right, who was that that put that there that was not me? It's, it's him looking around going, hey, hey, who did this? <laughs> Wasn't me. I know that for sure. <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot that, but luckily we've got a thing of ammo. So we're going to be waiting on this 30 second thing here. So I don't, I'm tired of holding E, so I'm going to have him hold E, hold e for me. I'll put, I'll put another one in chat. Too. Yeah. Just so kidding. Like, He's a. Uh, that's not actually when you hack. <laughs> oh. Dang, oh. Fake out. I was gonna say so. Like most of the time, you, you don't have them hold the E just because they're like so far behind, right? Or like. Yeah. Yeah. Know, whatever. They aren't just like actually standing right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you ever see me back away from these guys, it's because they do this like charge where it'll that will kill me, even on easy. I believe it after what after what we've seen here today. Yeah, like easy isn't really easy. It's just uh, enemies are a bit more pathetic. <gasps> Yo, 104 ammo. <laughs> they know. 
on, so on easy. easily the game wants you to use a rocket launcher here, but I'm just gonna use anti-armor. Yeah, on easy the enemy AI isn't different, it's just you have a lot less health. Or a lot more health compared to hard, so hard you have yeah. a lot more health than easy. That's interesting. I mean, I, so I guess it doesn't surprise me too much. Yeah. I commit a cardinal sin. I swapped out the shotgun for a rocket launcher, but it all makes sense in the future. Don't worry. I mean, that rocket launcher is pretty cool. If you're gonna swap it out for anything, it might as well be that. Yeah, yeah, you'll, 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 you'll see why, but... Uh, well, I just remember there, there was a quick save, quick load I could have done to save a tiny bit of time, but I don't usually do it, so it's not too big of a deal. It only just makes the end level trigger show up a tiny bit earlier. So I'm just gonna blow up these guys with anti-armor because there's already an anti-armor ahead. I'm gonna tell these guys to get health because they will go to health faster than anything else in the game. <laughs> like, like you're like, hey, can you guard this post for me? They're like, mm, I suppose I can. But you're like, hey, you wanna go get that back to? And they're like, oh, boy, howdy, do I? This is this is the dang. Uh, my parents aren't home. Come over, but for health. <laughs> yeah. Mom said we have back to at home. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so this guy, he comes over and he just kind of knocks this thing down. But uh, if I quick, did the quick save, quick load thing, I'd be able to just go right now. Mm. Sometimes I press shift there and cancel the zip line and it's, I'm stuck up there. I can't move. If you uh, press shift there to stop the zip line. This is another one of those levels um, where it's very easy to die on, um, which is why you two then got his or her uh, squad to full health because we need them to help keep enemies off our back. Yeah, there's specifically like three scavenger droids that come in through the wall and will just focus me. So uh, I need them uh, on there and on there. Oh yeah, sometimes if you shoot Trandoshan Elites packs, they'll just fly up into the sky. <laughs> Trandoshan uh, Elites so are the, are the kind of taller Trandoshan Yeah, they're enemies. the taller okay. dudes. Okay. Funnily enough, they're not the hardest ones to fight. The hardest ones are the knife ones. They have the most health. Mm. Why the... Yeah, made it through I there mean, without dying. Right? That's the hard part that you just got through there, by the way. So, yeah. So it should be good for the rest of the level. That was... We need to take them out. Part where the yeah. scavengers can just randomly kill you. Now I'm not jumping here to go fast. I'm jumping here as an attempt to Dark Souls dodge in some way. Yeah, there, there really isn't any movement tech in this game. It's just run, hold W. Ooh, out just... Ivy through middle. Mm, it's well, like a speed move. demon. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, that's, I was... that's, that's literally one of my stream alerts, so I got you. Yeah. <laughs> so I was trying to get a, a strat there where if you kill those droids there before they go through the door, it doesn't lock. Also, if you uh, just jump around that thing, you skip the trigger that makes that door lock. Nice. So, saves about five to six seconds. Uh, we're coming up on some more hardcore parkour that is going to look a lot harder than it is. Like, I'm gonna look, I'm, I'm just gonna go and downplay myself right now. You're gonna think I'm so cool, but no, it's it's really, really easy. Oh, right, yeah, there's uh, there's Tarful. He just high jump kicked that droid. Hello, Tarful. Uh, so I'm gonna come up here, jump here. Oh, what uh, the? Okay, you know what? I was right to, to I thought down this talk was myself. so easy, this... Utsu. It is. Why am I bad? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I I will say this gem looks way harder than it like than you were you were saying it was. Yeah, yeah no, it's it's, it's really easy. I'm just dumb. <laughs> it, it's one of those. I, I think I was I was in my head about it. It's one of those tricks that you you do it and it looks like it's you see it done. It looks really hard. You try doing it and you just get it first try. So I have to do a quick save, quick load for this level, um, because. There, it makes a bomb plant uh, trigger happen early, and you can get halfway through this level without realizing you didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, and, and because that droid there? because of that skip that we that you just did there, if you don't do the quick save load at the beginning of the level, the the bomb actually never becomes activated, and there's no way to activate it. it so it's kind of required. Otherwise, you get soft locked. So I used one more uh, anti armor that I wanted to there, and that's because they shot one of them out of the air. Um, so I'm gonna. Hop up here. I'm just gonna go and throw a Sonic Nade for this guy. Usually I'll hit him with the anti armor too, but Sonic Nade works too. I'm gonna huck two of these because there's shock hammer right there. And this is the bomb thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so as I said before, uh, there was a droid that I shot with a sniper rifle that made him kind of fall over, and that keeps that door from from closing. Which, if it did close, uh, I'd need to like kill all the enemies in that room, I believe, before it actually be openable there we go made it all right and now we're coming up to a to a quick uh skip that has a potential to kill me but not for the reasons that you think it would uh it's you kind of hop onto a small bit of a collision on a on a lamp basically um but if you kind of get stuck in the collision rather than hop on top of it the game will think you're falling and once you finally properly land it'll just knock out half your health bar yeah the, the, the way the game counts or calculates how much damage to give you for fall damage is by how high you fell from but how long you're falling from or how long you're, you've been falling for so you can kind of get stuck in like a falling state there and you'll just be yeah. like take a ton of damage you want to go ahead and talk about this also cram yeah, so this is another one of the uh, kind of big skips of this uh, the game here is um, we want to make sure that none of our squad comes into this room and, and she just also made sure to jump over those crates in a certain way to avoid a trigger. Um, when the level starts, um, Tarful, who is the person we're trying to protect, is invincible. Um, and it just ran in, but I think that's okay. I think so. Um, so... Oh yeah, it, also you can shoot this enough times and it'll just despawn. Yeah, so Tarful, Tarful's invincible and because we're progressing by shooting that thing away, um, we have no way to actually go back and like protect him. So we need to make sure he stays invincible there. Oh yeah, I mentioned that these guys have lots of health so it's actually just better to... Um, oh yeah, there's a Grievous Guard here by the way. Um, yeah, it's actually just better to... Uh, to kill them with anti-armor. I love the yeah, big just... flips they come in on. Oh yeah, they're <laughs> real flippy. That's like their main thing in like every single Star Wars media. Even the movies, they're just real flippy. Um, anyways, I'm gonna come down here and just kind of dance around at a trigger. There's, there's another guard who is around here and sometimes he just doesn't come after you. He'll just kind of hang out above you and not do anything. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot there. up here to kind of encourage him to come down. Oh, I, I think so I we, saw his little. There yeah. he is. Yep. So we uh, so we got that rocket launcher right, and that's for this guy. That's hitting the Beyblade up here. Oh, what? What the? Oh. Ooh. Okay, that worked. I think. Nice. Oh, he's not oh, dead. Oh. What? He do be flipping. He do be flippy. There we go. Flippy boy. He, he came out of the, the shock nade stun a little bit early. So here what I'm going to do is uh, all my squad is like low on health and stuff. So I'm just going to leave. I'm going to go to campaign map. I'm going to go to the mission we're on. And that's just going to replenish all the health and all the ammo that we need. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just a lot better. Do you just not do that more often because it like takes a bunch of time or... Yeah, and usually, usually uh, level transitions like that will oh. do that for you, but that one doesn't. Oh, that one doesn't kill oh, yeah, them. Okay. Yeah. Also, don't don't worry about that Wookie. He uh. And he died fine. in a very sad way. I did not like it. He he took a nap. Also, not you can't you can't go to every level from the menu. There's no kind of certain checkpoints that you can only go to. Oh, yeah. so. oh wait, I forgot. Hang on. There we go. I forgot the... he needs to disappear. That's the kind of sucker practicing. Like, I mean, I guess if you have a save system, yeah, it's pretty yeah. robust. Yeah. You can just practice forever. Yeah, you can make. I, I love and... this dialogue here because, like, 
they see the spider droid and their first uh their first question isn't what are we going to do about this their first question is okay how did that get in here <laughs> these these doors are much too small <laughs> and question like, maybe i guess built they brought it in the <laughs> yeah basically that's what they say <laughs> also why is it there like, why do they just put it in a random room i don't know they know we're on the way <laughs> they've mapped out our route <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they've put in two spider droids in this area. There's one there, and then we uh, we run up this hill, and there's one all the way at the top here. Uh, I'm just going to oh. go and throw a shock nade for these guys and grab this ammo. When you when you do the, the animations, like, put your hand up, are you, like, animation canceling out of that? Because it looks so funny. 38 just puts his hand up and is like, no, actually, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can... Uh, you can animation cancel like squad command gestures, which keeps the command going. But like, it's just, so he's just like, ah, uh, never mind. Here, go that. Uh, no, I changed my. Uh, no, uh, no. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, this. I was gonna shoot that guy with an anti armor, and then my friends were next to him. Oh, can you damage now them? Yeah. Yeah, there is friendly oh. fire. So if I shot them, if I shot them with that anti armor, that. I don't know what Fixer was doing, but... He's having a great time. Uh, For being a Fixer, yeah, so... it sure does cause a lot of problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so... Since I don't have a... Uh, since I don't have a shotgun anymore, I'm gonna point someone to blow that one up. Um, I'm gonna come over here, and it still is faster for me to melee this one. So I'm just gonna kind of... poke it with my knife. <laughs> poke, poke. They should put this in the Star Wars movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna blow up that Droidica. I'm gonna wait to blow this guy up until I break this because uh, I think if you kill them, it like makes more spawn. Okay, yeah, so I can tell him to get on there. And then I'm out of anti-armor, but there's some tucked away back here. Nice. So we're coming up on the most RNG heavy level in the game here and not because of actual like RNG but because there's a lot of enemies and I'm basically hoping that they sent in the dumb batch of people rather than the uh, than the like hyper focused warriors this is just like the AI doesn't react in like a predictable way every time yeah sometimes they're dumb and miss you every time and sometimes they're SEAL Team 6 we also need to uh, stun a few of the, the Trando heavy guys, and s there's certain points in their animations where they don't get stunned by them, and it's kind of hard to tell. So sometimes they'll throw a grenade and they'll just not get stunned by it, which is another reason why yeah. there's RNG in this level. Also, I just jumped over a trigger there that keeps a lot of enemies from spawning. Uh, yeah. Why are they shooting I want up these in the guys. sky? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Uh, that's their taunt, and I want them to do that because the more they're taunting, the less they're shooting me. Yeah, looks like they're all stunned. <laughs> but yeah, Trade Ocean Elites are very, very like confident. Ooh. Okay, he came out of his. Uh, he came out of his. Ooh, his thing that's not early. good. You might want to wait for your shield to recharge a little bit here first. I am low in health, so I will be say will be healing up ahead. Uh. And I will be kind of jumping around. Yeah, these guys definitely are like. I forget. Ooh. Can you use those SMGs that they have? At least in like the multiplayer. Yes, yes, you can. You but can. they kind of. So, oh, why did I quick save there? This is awful. Uh oh. Oh. So Bet, save. Uh, good luck. Hang on. Auto save. What's the auto save? Okay, cool. That's not cool. bad. I'm gonna throw at another one of these. Like oh, this is actually a really good spot, actually. So. <laughs> yeah. I'll we'll have a lot more health this time. Don't run into the explosion. Well, there wasn't the, the, that explosion does like actually do no damage. What happened was the dude uh, he came out of his flashbang and just started filling me with bullets. Do they shoot randomly when they get flashbanged, or do they like just stand no, there and do nothing? No. They stand there and do nothing. They just stand there and do nothing. <laughs> shoot up in the air again. And yeah. Of course, on the the save where I have like all the health, they also just don't even care about me. 
Okay, he got stunned. So you gotta make sure that you kill all of these Trando guys that are following us here, because there's gonna be a section here that we're gonna need to stand still for a long time, and if you don't kill them as they uh, follow you, that then they'll just come up behind you and shoot yeah, you in the face. Kind of, yeah, and you like have to do nothing for that whole section, or else it doesn't work correctly. So I'm just gonna quick save here. I'm gonna double check that there's no one following me. Okay, looks like they all forgot about me. So uh, I'm gonna do something different. I need to make no noise here uh, to keep some Gene Ocean elites from killing me. So I'm gonna quick save. So I'm gonna press E, quick save, then quick load. And that makes it so uh, I uh, I don't have to press E. It just kind of times down. And so like. I just have to look at, as long as my cursor is on it, like, you know, it'll just keep going, and so, like, you know. Are you getting a drink right now? Okay, I bye. I think she just, like, walked away. <laughs> bye. <laughs> uh, donations, I guess? Well. Sure. I'd, I'd like to let you all know that uh, we do have an open incentive for that Dullahan super boss fight in the Golden Sun, the Lost Stage, running up, uh, coming up later this morning. So uh, here's uh, $20 for a mere artist saying, donating toward the Dullahan fight just to have more Golden Sun in the marathon. You know, as, and as thank said, you for that. You know, oh, whoops. Really yeah, I don't want to interrupt. Just, you don't take much damage, so. <laughs> Uh, hi, what well, I miss? Look, welcome back. <laughs> uh, yeah, gotta, Could you explain that one more time? No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and the heavens just grant us this beam weapon. They're just like, hey, good job. <laughs> uh, um, so, yeah, so we're, and, uh, now then, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do that again, but this time I'm not, I'm not gonna go anywhere. Uh, so if you've got, like, Two or three donations. Go ahead. I don't trust right. you not to leave. Work. I'm here. I, I, I'm here. I'm here. I do. Uh, here is fifty dollars from Pizza Sandwich. Uh, Republic Commando is an amazing and underrated game, so I'm really glad to see it in the marathon. Here's hoping we can reunite Delta Squad in a sequel someday. Good luck, Utsu. Also have a twenty dollars here from Molly Shepard. Republic Commando is one of my favorite games of all time. The biggest thanks to my indie for sitting down and watching a speed run of one of my fondest childhood memories with me. I love you lots, and you make every day that much more awesome. Good luck to Utsu on your run, and remember that it's red, red, green, or is it red, green, red? <laughs> that's a that's a reference to one of Six Two's lines mm -hmm. when he's placing a bomb. He's just like, it was it red, red, green, or red, green, red, and then it's a great line. Seven will Seven will say he's supposed to be our demolitions expert. <laughs> Uh, Zen donated one hundred dollars, saying, "I absolutely love Republic Commando. Watching the run make, makes me want to go find my copy and reinstall it for the hundredth time." <laughs> yeah, it's a good game. Uh, so now that's done, we're gonna go to the end level trigger, and we're gonna be going into the. Uh, oh yeah, he killed himself basically. Um, yeah, this is the second to last level in the game, and I'm just gonna be ignoring my guys. They don't need to be alive, so I'm not gonna tell them to stay put, but. Uh, I also don't need them with me, so I'm just gonna kind of run ahead of them. Aren't those little fingers on the the gun? Aren't those like actually little syringes or something? Yeah. Like, is is, is so it the whole lore with this gun that like it uses Geonosian body fluid or something? Yeah, it uses their blood. So so what it's doing when it's like all wiggling around there is it's trying to stab into my arm and take my blood. Oh man, dude, this game is something else. But you know clone armor so it's just like i, I can't I, I can't get it up. boss yeah. boss it's not working like i said this this the sound literally just reminds me of that one paper mario glitch it's like what ticking uh, oh yeah uh this uh this this wookie he's nice and all but uh, he has to die no he can make a tax fraud <laughs> unnecessary is that oh. i'm gonna carry uh these over here I'm upset. <laughs> I'm, I'm, he had a rocket launcher, okay? We need it for these guys. Oh, that looks really good. Oh, well, there goes Whoa. another one. Oh, okay. Oh, nope. He's good. Uh, Oops, Almost. Like, that was really close. Bad Yelp review. 
Oh, okay. They, they, that was them, okay? It was, that was, that was pretty good. Oh, yep, that's all of them. That, that, that was a pretty good fight there, actually. That, that, you can do a quick kill where you kill them all with just the rocket launcher, but it's pretty inconsistent. It just kind of depends on where they're standing. Oh, yeah, so the Gene Ocean Beam weapon is also the second best gun to use for the uh, melee spamming. Just because that's the second fastest melee animation. Which just kind of looks like you're just like. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Poking him. You can also like fake people out, like. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> and I'm just going to use that to blow this up because you don't need to kill any of the droids. You just need to get rid of this. This just can't stay here. It's, it's an eyesore. Um, yeah. I am gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna leave these guys alive. They they get to live, but not uh, the Wookies. Yeah, yeah, not no, the Wookies. Cause cause they uh they hold spawns, so three super valor rays don't spawn here. Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess and, that's uh, worth it. So yeah, I'm gonna. So this here is where the uh the final level is basically. It's gone I'm gonna skip smooth. this cutscene. Yep. And with the final level, we have the hardest strat in the game. The most difficult, most... Saves... Oh, for real? The most difficult, most yeah. inconsistent skip also happens to be on the last level of the game. Dang. This is not me, this is not me like, making up anything. This this has, like, a, a for real setup. Um, and it's okay. kind of RNG. So I'm going to oh, line up my crosshair with time here. that. I'm going to throw that. So we're going to do another barrel... Uh... Barrel jump here. Yeah. And this this skip is also essentially necessary. Like it skips pretty much the entire level. Uh, no, nope, I'm gonna try that again. Yeah. I'm gonna try that again. I made a quick save of it going. Unfortunately, this what? blowing up uh, also it'll go. It should go. Where? You you going? Where's the grenade, buddy? Hello? Sometimes it just kind of despawns when you... There oh, it goes. Oh. God. Well, faked out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try that. That looks that looks all right. Whoops. Looks, looks good, though. Good. I have a bad habit of uh, pressing a... Uh, there nice. we go. Yo, nice. Nice. Oh, that was good. <laughs> that is nice. so cool. So wow. I get up here, and usually you have to walk through this whole, whole map all the way around and uh, through like these winding tunnels. And it's kind of wow. like a trip down memory lane where you go through like map maps that look like or areas that look like maps you've been through before, and you fight like every enemy you fought up till now. Um, and you slowly deposit your uh, your squad one by one onto these turrets in the reverse order that you got them. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it's kind of cool. So you drop off 07, then you drop off 40, and then finally we're coming up to where you drop off 62. 62 uh, is back there, um, but uh, don't worry, he'll be joining us shortly. How recent is that skip? It's it's really really neat. That's like it's been around for a while. Oldest yeah. skips. Really? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, really sick. There's been some like more consistent setups and things like that that have been yeah. found, but it's, it's been around now, for a while. I six two. He he just he just he appeared. He was here from the beginning. So I'm going to be uh, quick saving and yeah, quick saving through here because if these pods fall on my head, I will die. Okay. So I want to kill all these guys so that they don't hurt me while I'm on a turret. Don't mind the fact that I'm killing many children. I was going to say, that's got to also be like on the whole like war crime spectrum, right? Like <laughs> Maybe. Maybe a little bit. There might be some ethics issues here. Yeah. Also, there's still one guy back here. I know he's back here. What are you... Did you just go out of bounds? Yo, what? he took a page See out of your book, Yeah. I'm just going to hope he doesn't come See after ya. me. So I'm going to get on this. And, uh, yeah. And then, uh, once I blow this up, time is going to be coming up. Uh, 
<laughs> I'll be sure to actually let you know on time this time. It's as opposed to beginning of the run. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really seem like you're doing anything to this ship. Uh, yeah, um, it's the collisions are kind of weird. That side makes it look like you're doing something. And that is essentially the last interaction the of the game. We just gotta wait for the uh, level to end. Yeah, time, time is gonna be on level end. Uh, oh yeah, so you notice 07 and 40 are still back there. Uh, but the game's gonna go ahead and uh, spawn 40 and 62 over here as if they're coming to rejoin me. So uh, you can see there's two 40s now on the map. You can see with the arrows. <laughs> also, 07 is a, uh, he's getting overrun by attackers, but He's. We lost his signal, but he's still there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're still at three, uh, three squad mates, basically. Even if Sev is dead, we've got two 40s now. So uh, I think we're good to go. Are we, it's like are we just, 80, right? Are we just waiting yep. for dialogue, or what are we? Yep. Just and time. Whew. All right. Um, do we have my time for that? Uh, due to uh, stream delay, I, I'll have to wait a moment. <laughs> it's gonna be a, it's right. gonna it's gonna be a mid 144 U2. 144 gotcha. 34. That's, that's that's really good actually. That yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, well, um, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, do all my shoutouts and stuff. Uh, shoutouts to my couch. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Cram. Thank you, Amarlin. Uh Thank you, Proix, for doing great with donations. Um, Shout outs to uh, to the Spearing community of this game. They're all great. Uh, we, we'd love to have you if you want to join our Discord. We've got a Discord link on our, uh, our speedrun.com page. Um, shout outs to iSlide for finding everything in this, this game, basically. Um, shout outs to... Gonna give a real big shout out to the modding community for just having so many quality of life stuff for this game. Like, there's resolution fixes and stuff. Uh, there's, like... A mod that lets you see your legs. There's all sorts of stuff. There's even like custom maps and stuff. But yeah, um, and uh, shoutouts to GDQ for having this great event. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, yeah I, want, I want to say follow Utsu. By the way, they stream content like this all the time. I've known them for years at this point. Like, she's a great person. Follow her on Twitch. She's not gonna plug herself, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the plug for her. Yeah. Follow Utsu mm -hmm. on Twitch. Really, Thank really you. skilled speedrunner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, yeah. And, and Cram and Amy, you all did a great job. Thank you for commentating with me. Thank you for having me, Utsu. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. I'm just glad Bye -bye. to be here to help. All right, one more time in chat, everyone, for Utsu there. What a wonderful run. I love that game myself. I, I did sleep on it for a very long time, but uh, when I finally got around to playing it, it was so great. Uh, yeah, fantastic shooter. I'm a big fan, and I'm a fan of Utsu. Uh, it was just a pleasure to be here involved in it. <laughs> we had some great donations coming in from that, including Anonymous with $100 helping us for that uh, push toward $500,000 raise saying uh, press E for half a million. <laughs> Quite a few comments like that, including uh, Poetics with $5, enjoying the RE public commando run, and of course the rest of the excellent showcases here at GDQ, one step closer to 500K. Yeah, thank you, Poetics. You did help us get one step closer, and we made it all thanks to your generous donations. Uh, I'll get right back to some more of your donation comments shortly, but first just wanted to acknowledge one of our wonderful sponsors here at the event, Super Meat Boy Forever. Uh, they'd like you to know that Super Meat Boy Forever is finally out. <laughs> Team Meat says, we literally created over 5,000 levels for this game. It's too many levels. We should have done like 2,500. Uh, anyway, check out Super Meat Boy Forever at supermeatboy.com. Have a donation here, $25 to Doctors Without Borders from Animate to Light, who said, always fun to see a Star Wars game at a GDQ event. Always wanted to play this game, but never had the opportunity. But now watching you play this game, I think I'll get it on Switch. So thanks. And thank you for that donation.
some people donating here to uh, get entry in for some of our prizes. Let's see, I've got a, I got a couple mentions that I thought were interesting. We've got uh, $50 from the sound defense. I made a donation a minute ago, but it wasn't enough to get that small neck plush, so obviously I had to donate again. Let's get that Hitman 3 incentive met. Uh, thank you very much for that. And uh, up next, I am yielding the stream to our wonderful interview team. They've got an interview coming up here related to Koro Rinpa. Check it out. Stay tuned. Uh, take it away. And welcome back, everyone, to Summer Games Done Quick 2021, supporting MSF Doctors Without Borders. I am Spike Vegeta, and I it is my pleasure to be joined by the one, the only, the ever-talented speedrunner, Callum Ball. How are you doing, my friend? Hey, how's it going, Spike? Uh, it's good to be here. Yeah, excited. Love all the plushies in the background. We got a little I, I love back there. <laughs> Bulbasaur, where I'm going to give it a do little do rag look. I'm loving all the characters back there. Gotta Very represent, nice. dude. Gotta represent. <laughs> um, so I want to go ahead and jump into. So, Cowball, you've had the joy of you've gotten to do a lot of different speed runs over the years. Mm -hmm. And tonight, right after this interview, you guys are going to get to see Cowball throwing down in Koro Rimpa Marble Mania. Now, okay, everybody at home has probably never heard of this game. You could assume that, yeah. all right, there are probably marbles involved. This is one of the most unique speedruns you will ever see. Uh, Calamar, can you tell us a little bit about what this run is? Okay, so Corinpa Marble Mania is a Nintendo Wii game, and it uses gyroscopic motion controls. So most people, when they think of motion control games on the Wii, they think about, you know, awkwardly pointing the sensor forward, trying to line up as a bit haphazard, doesn't work all that great. Well, this game uses a gyroscope, so... It's one to one with where I move the Wii Moot. I don't have to bother putting it at anything. I have it anywhere in my room. It works the same every time. And the great thing about that is it's just a massive, diverse movement set in the game. Um, no matter where I move the controller uh, in real life, it's going to uh, mirror that in game perfectly, no matter where I put it. God, I, <laughs> I was, I just kept watching, thinking it looks like the run has no breaks to it whatsoever. It's one level to Not the really. next. It's yeah. kind of similar. Another game on your speedrun resume is you run a lot of the monkey ball games. Mm -hmm. And from an intensity standpoint, I mean, obviously you can draw a lot of similarities to your little ball. You're trying to get it to fall down this course through the goal eventually at the end. I guess in terms of intensity, how would you say it compares to running monkey ball games? Um, there's a lot of parallels you can draw. For sure, they're both marble rolling games. Both have similar objectives, you know, reach the goal at the end of the level. But I think the main thing that makes Corinthus stand out, and I think makes it quite a lot harder, especially trying to play at a top, top level, because it's almost a limitless skill ceiling. Mm -hmm. Because the only limitation is how fast you can move your hand. That's oh. all there is to it. It's not like a linear input or anything like that. It's uh. so diverse. So um, also, there's a jumping mechanic that's worth talking about. Um, so that introduces a whole other element to the game, because it's not just one set jump by either. You flick the Wiimote to jump, and however hard you flick it, the further you go, or the higher you go. So, so it's a flick. It's also a motion control, because you would think, like, okay, watching, and these are the things I'm glad we're going to talk about mm -hmm. here before you get into the run, because all of it can kind yeah. of be a blur at some point. Yeah. I didn't even know watching it that among all this flipping and tossing and turning that you're doing with the controller to get the arena to move around the marble game to the end. Mm. You're also flicking it to add a jump. Calabal, how do you even start? How did you start your journey of getting not just amazing, but even adequate at moving this marble fast? It, it was a large learning, learning curve, really. Um, the thing is you can choose different balls to start with. So the, the ball we use primarily is one that you can customize the stats on. So we just set it, you know, full speed, full of everything except for bounce. You want minimum bounce so that you have a lot of uh, ground traction when you land. And what I did primarily was I, uh, when I first started the run, like learning the run was I used uh, the stats slightly lowered down on the customizable ball. So I didn't use full speed straight away. I did that for maybe a week or something until I got better with the game and then I adjusted it accordingly as I got better. Yeah. 
Makes sense. It was like eventually allow yourself almost like a lot of great rhythm games. People will play and everything. Eventually you allow yourself. The game slows down for you and it won't be for us and the viewers tonight. It is fantastic. It's a great watch. Make sure y'all stick around for after this. Callumball, I want to also just expand to get to talk about your speedrun resume, which is just okay. littered with gold. <laughs> Amazing taste you have in speed games, in my opinion. I love stuff like Thank Bucky O'Hare for the NES. Fantastic speed run. You're in the top awesome. handful in the world in Super Mario Land. Little known title to a lot of people, Super Mario Land. Yeah. Very, very high level in a lot of the monkey ball games here in Koro Rinpa. Even a game that I fantastic in spider-man 2 the sinister six for the game boy color a lot of people out there are saying like oh that awesome looking speed run everyone go check it out it's a good 15 minute watch absolutely where where does your taste come for in speed games what do you look for when you say i want to i want to sink my teeth into that one okay so i know for some speedrunners it's like based in nostalgia it's based on a lot of different factors and for me it's primarily in giving a spotlight to games that are, i think are underrated or you know, just under the radar in general. So what I like to do is I like to go for a games library, a systems library, and just pick out all the gems that I can find and, and see which ones are speedrunnable. Yeah, you found a lot of really, really good ones. I got one more question before you. Before I let you go, in that um, library of games, what is one that maybe when your speedrun legacy is done that you hope you have brought the most eyeballs to and said, you know what, I want to try Korrimpa, Spider-Man 2 for the Game Boy. What is kind of the one that you would love to see more people jump on? Uh, it's kind of hard not to say Korrimpa because it's just such an amazing game. Like Of all the games I've speedrun, I'd say it has the highest depth, like highest skill seeing, and the most enjoyable. Like I've speedrun 30 plus games at a high level, and this is by far my favorite game. So I know it's kind of a cop-out to, to mention the game that I'm going to run, but I, I have to give a spotlight to Korrimpa. <laughs> I, I did not try to get... Callum Ball on a script or anything going into no, this, no trying day. to hype up the game he's about to run. <laughs> uh, I'm being legit. It's, it's my favorite. It looks fantastic. Everyone, make sure you stick around right here after this interview. We're going to kick it back up to the front, and then it's going to be Callum Ball trying to show you the absolute bonkersness. That's right. I made up a word because it's so cool. Of Korrimpa, Marvel Mania. Callum Ball, best of luck, my friend. We're sending it back up to the front. Thank you very much, Vic, and I look forward to dinner. Let's do it. Thank you so much for that wonderful interview. Coming up next, Kororinpa Marble Mania, followed by a race of Coca-Cola Kid by Grumpmeister and Sharif. Stay tuned for all of that. We received a donation here, $5 from Graphics, saying uh, Republic Commando and Prolix? I had to stay up for this. Fun fact about Republic Commando, the composer, Jesse Harlan, and his girlfriend invented the Mandalorian language for this game. Oh, very cool. Thanks to know. Uh, good to know that. Yeah, I'm about to hand off the host mic here to the wonderful LLK, but I will be back on Thursday for some more runs, including a Destiny 2 raid and uh, get ready to spam some GDQ evil heads in chat because it'll also be Bloodshot 9001 taking on the role of the Doom Slayer in Doom Eternal, the Ancient Gods, part one and part two. So I'm hearing from the production crew that it's uh, time to send it to a break, but uh, I told them that you underestimate my power. Uh, but wait, what's this? The, the break has the high ground. Oh, oh no. Ah!
Hello, everybody. It is early in the morning for me. Maybe not for you, but for me. You're watching Summer Games Done Quick 2021, benefiting Doctors Without Borders. Uh, we are raising money for such a good cause. The doctors are great. The borders, mm, not a fan. Not a fan of the borders. Let's help the doctors defeat the borders. Um, and one way you can help the doctors defeat the borders is if you go over to one of our sponsors, fangamer.com, you can actually buy a uh, virtual attendee badge if you want to prove to everyone that you were there virtually on the internet when video games were going really fast you can buy uh, this little virtual attendee badge and if they sell 500 of them uh, they will be upgraded to foil there'll be like a little foil stamping on the lenses of the little sunglasses there uh, that the character's wearing uh, they have 462 out of 500 uh, so you know I don't know I, I just I just randomly thought that like maybe some people might buy a badge I don't know I don't know but if uh, also if you go over to the yeti.com, that's T H E Y E T E E dot com. Uh, you can buy a little acrylic standee uh, representing 